Beautiful to some, maybe, but the hope doesn't exactly draw in the local businessmen in their droves. Rockabillies, punks, skinheads, um, you name it, we've got them. Um, and I think it puts a lot of people off. Um, I think people are too ready to sort of condemn young people for what they look like as opposed to what they are. But we don't have a lot of violence between the groups. Um, you know, most of the time, everybody has a good time. <laughs> Well, it's better than bopping it up, isn't it? The fact remains, I suppose, that uh, if you're going to turn this into a cocktail bar, you could probably earn a few quid and, and, and maybe survive, couldn't you? If I could afford to turn it into a cocktail bar, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose I could. Uh, and it wouldn't be the hope and anchor. I mean, it wouldn't be, you know, it, I wouldn't want to call it Giovanni's or, you know, Nunzio's, you know. <laughs> hey, let's go to Nunzio's, you know. No, it's, a, oh, it's the audience. hope and anchor. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, the hope and anchor is the hope and anchor. And it couldn't work for us. We're, not, we're just not that kind of, uh, you know. I'm a, I'm a sweaty rock and roller. I mean, you know, I like a hole in the ground where I can get down. At least, bands can still play here at the Hope and Anger. Bands like the Stingrays here, whose future, who knows, might indeed be the... Cut the cost of borrowing, they've reduced...